girls and boys, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. Parsha's Yisro describes the Jewish people, the Yidin, receiving the Torah on Har Sinai. In honor of this, we are going to create our very own mixed media Har Sinai painting. Here are the supplies that we're going to need. We'll need some paints, light blue, light green, dark green and yellow, a piece of clay, flower shaped crafting jewels, a cotton ball, a canvas, scissors, a pen or pencil, whichever you prefer. We'll also need three paintbrushes, a large soft one, a medium hard one, and a small soft one, some blue cardstock, ideally metallic, liquid glue, and a cup of water. It'll also be helpful to keep a paper towel handy in case you need. Let's get started. Draw a line about a third of the way from the bottom of your canvas. This will mark where the grass ends and the mountain begins. Next, draw a small mountain on top of that line. Remember to keep it small because we want it to look like our Sinai and not some other big tall mountain. Draw two Z's on top of the canvas. These will be the bolts of lightning. Next, we'll paint the lightning bolts using the thin paintbrush and yellow paint. As we do this, I have a short story to share with you. Once upon a time, there was a family who owned a bakery and they sold the most amazing chocolate chip cookies. This cookie recipe was very important, not only to know how to bake the cookies, but also because this special recipe was in the family for a very long time. To make sure that the bakery would faithfully keep the recipe forever and always, all the family members would practice remembering the recipe. Not only did the adults make sure to know the recipe, but even the children. They knew that it was key for them to know it to pass it on to their children so that the bakery would hold on to the cookie recipe for generations to come. Now take the clay out of its bag and soften it up by playing with it for a few seconds. The natural warmth of your hands will soften it. Break off small pieces of clay and press them into the mountain, taking care to fill the entire mountain. Using different materials in a piece of art is referred to as different types of media, otherwise known as mixed media. The cool thing about mixed media art is that it often looks three-dimensional. In this case, aside from the use of paint, we are also using clay, a cotton ball, plastic jewels, and shiny paper, all of which will give our painting a very cool 3D look. Remember the family with the special chocolate chip cookie recipe? Well, that story is an example of precisely what happened at Matan Torah, when Hashem gave the Yid in the Torah. As soon as we finish creating the mountain out of clay, we will use our medium-sized paintbrush to paint the grass below the mountain light green, using up and down strokes. Then we will paint the mountain itself with dark green paint using dabbing motions to give it a textured look. When all the Yidin were ready and waiting to receive the Torah, Hashem asked them a very important question. How will I know that the Torah will be passed on? Who will make sure that it is not forgotten? First, the Yidin offered their great forefathers, Avram, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, to be the guarantors. When this was not accepted, they proposed that the leaders and greats of each generation or the mothers and fathers could be the guarantors but Hashem did not find any of them to be reliable enough guarantors. Finally, the Yidin called out, Our children, the children will be the guarantors. They will guarantee that the teachings of the Torah will live on. And this answer Hashem finally accepted. Out of everyone in the whole Jewish nation, Hashem found the children to be the most important. Even though you may feel small, you have a lot of power. The power to make sure that the Torah will be given over to the next generation. Using a paper towel, you can fix up any green paint that accidentally got on the background. The next step is to paint the sky light blue with our big paintbrush. Be careful to paint around the lightning bolts. Since the blue is darker than the yellow, if you paint over the lightning, it will cover over the bolts and then you won't be able to see them so clearly. As you paint, use side to side strokes if you want the sky to have a more or less even look. Once the sky is complete, you can go back to the grass and add some darker green strokes to give the grass a bit more dimension. Next, use a little yellow paint to dab over the parts of the mountain that stick out most. As of now, this mountain could look just like any other mountain. Let's make it super obvious that this is Har Sinai by covering it with flowers and adding clouds on top along with the luchos. Let's begin with the clouds. Softly pull apart the cotton ball so that it is a bit spread out and use liquid glue to attach it to the top of the mountain. Next, cut two small squares of rectangles from the metallic blue paper. These will be the luchos, which were made of sapphire, a type of blue stone. Glue them onto the cotton ball clouds with liquid glue. 
Lastly, let's decorate our sceni with gem flowers. Use liquid glue to stick them on. You can press them into the clay a bit as well. As you finish up, take a minute to think about this. What are some ways to act like a proper guarantor of the Torah? If it's your role to make sure to hold on to the Torah, what would be the right way to act? And with that, we're all done. Enjoy your mixed media Harsinai painting. Hope to see you next week at our Parsha studio.